be honest, and they can be helped to come up with very, very accurate descriptions. And in the hands of competent people, and competent psychologists and social workers, you can tease out uh, patterns and come up with a smoking gun. But you can also have a lot of stuff in the other direction. It is, I don't know how long you guys have been here in California, but uh, it was only 1990 that the verdict from the famous McMartin case read, I think it was the longest trial in U.S. history. There were, uh, I'll read you some of this stuff. It was, it's called today a witch hunt. It is just openly called a witch hunt. You have this uh, daycare center, and they went back to the grandmother and the grandson. At the end of years and years of, uh, of trials, you had one guy sitting in jail for five years who was never convicted of a single charge. His grandmother was clear of all charges. There were no convictions. Some of the people who led the charge were an editor of the LA Times who wound up engaged to the prosecutor. One of the most popular commentators on TV was somebody who wound up romantically involved, although not engaged, the social worker who interviewed the children. There were several hundred children who were questioned by what is the You know, it had a name and an acronym. So once you're big enough to have an acronym, everybody knows you're at the top of the field. CII, it was a Los Angeles abuse therapy clinic. They, they went through the evidence of all these kids who've been in the McMartin preschool, and they came to the conclusion that 360 children had been abused. There was never any physical evidence to support it. The mother who brought the original allegation was diagnosed the same year as a pattern of schizophrenic. Um, critics who've gone over the, uh, the, the proceedings and the questioning uh, argued that the children were given leading questions repetitively, which always yields positive responses in children. Uh, they even came up with fancy name for it, called this memory syndrome. Uh, some of the kids came up with accusations that, um, well, the way Wikipedia puts it, I'll admit that that's where this brief analysis comes from. I didn't do anything deeper than that. I did remember with uh, with Martin, but uh, the analysis is theirs. The quote, the bizarre and at times defy the laws of physics. Some allege that in addition to have been se being sexually abused, they saw witches fly, traveled in hot air balloons, and were taken in one case to the secret underground tunnels, which were sought by investigators but never found. Ray Bucky was described as having beaten a giraffe to death with a baseball bat in front of the children. When shown a series of photographs by police, one child identified actor Chuck Norris as one of the abusers. There were claims of orgies at car washes and airports, and the children, this is my favorite, of children being flushed down toilets to secret rooms <laughs> where they are <laughs> shoes, then cleaned up and presented back to their unsuspecting parents. Um, I'm not casting aspersions on, uh, on all reports from children. There are too many that, uh, there's too many that are true. It's a and, uh, I have very little experience with this, but even my, my limited experience wound up visiting a, uh, an abuser in jail with my, my brief stint as a chaplain. And uh, there's no question of the abuse. And uh, like most abusers, completely deny, complete denial about his, uh, about his own activity. But, uh, you know, in a local school, in a local day school, and uh, you know, the kids' evidence did happen. Uh, but it takes, it, it takes the right kind of like people here, people would not sit down to get for the prosecution or to follow the rule book. It's one of the biggest problems, people just following the rule book. <laughs> when, uh, when I first moved here, the woman did absolutely do the right thing. But we had the child, our, our third, our third child, third, fourth child born like a year after we moved to California. He was like this real cherubic, bouncy, blonde haired uh, kid. But uh, there was a time, like for a couple of weeks, he was particularly colicky. And you know, we had the experience of a colicky baby, they squeak. They just wail and scream at the top of their lungs for hours and hours without let up. We're home. My poor wife is contending with this, and all of a sudden there's this terrible knock on the back door of a woman demanding to come in, 
I didn't know what to do with that. And she claims she's a nurse, and she demands to see the child. And she did the right thing. She said, and she basically says she sees cases of abuse all the time. She could not listen to the, to the crime of this child, thinking maybe that this child is an abused child. My wife let her in. She's just, you know, really well fed. <laughs> As obviously colicky, but no signs of abuse. And you know, she apologized profusely, but you know, but she did, she did, she did the right thing. Um, but you have to know how to read, how to read the signs. Good question. When you, when you're speaking of like using children as a witness, is that the age matter? Is that the of course, it matters. Okay, and what, what age? Is it like by Jewish law? No, it's uh, it, it's it, it's when the people who know, which is going to sound a little circular, tell you that in their experience, uh, reports like this are, are credible and that and that the questions that have asked have been appropriate and the memories are something that are really knowable by the children and that the description is suitable to, to what actually happens in cases where this is really true rather than rather than being some kind of imagination of fabrication. I understand that, but let's say if the children, you know, gather they make a whole call of saying that, you know, there's some abuse going on. We're looking at it and saying, hey, okay, 14, 15, all this living rather than if they're 10, 4. Sure. 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 I, I, don't, I, I don't I don't believe that there is any 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 age that is uh so it's well, certainly not prescribed by Jewish law. What 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 good competent psychologists would tell you, I'm not even gonna venture a guess. I have I've not had that uh, that hands on involvement with this. Uh you know, I could name a person that's in the town whom I would trust to this. Uh, if anybody, unfortunately, has real need to know, I'll make, I'll make the, uh, I'll make the referral. This all said, let me move on to a couple of other controversial topics. <coughs> One is blogs. Um, there are people who hate all blogs. I'm not one of them. I have a blog of my own. Uh, an abuse monitoring blog. Um, I have to find the uh, the appropriate words. Blogs are sort of like a line in Dickens. The best of times and the worst of times. When all else fails, what blogs have allowed people to do in all areas of life is to gain access to a public where they otherwise would not have had such access. Blogs have uh, become one of the most democratizing elements in modern society, and they do give people with grievances an opportunity to get them out when otherwise their voices would be still. There are certainly cases in which abuse has been covered up, is covered up, and in some cases, that abuse has come to life when the bloggers have somehow pointed it out and others have come forth and incredible cases have come together. However, there are huge, huge dangers in the blogs that are out there. Uh, I'm not going to mention any of them by name, but I believe that just about all of the ones that I've seen suffer from the same uh, from the, the, the same from the same faults. Um, there are issues about the standards of the people who run them. One of the most popular blogs out there is run by somebody who years ago went on Oprah and claimed that for many years she was abused, not that she remembers, but through one of these, you know, these state back things so the psychologist got her to remember things that she'd forgotten. She now remembers being abused in her conservative synagogue for many years by Satan worshippers who were abusing her over a long period of time. That doesn't 